Stefania over at Sleep Stories and Classic Fairy Tales Kids, which you probably already know, we've got a Halloween story, part of our series of Halloween stories just for you. This one is another Uncle Wiggily story. This is Uncle Wiggily's Halloween fun. What kind of costume do you think Uncle Wiggily's going to wear? Hmm, a rabbit? <laughs> oh, you'll find it. Find. <laughs> you'll find out in a minute. Uncle Wiggily's Halloween fun. Oh, dear. I wish you were night, said Susie Littletail. So do I, exclaimed Sammy, her brother. Then it would be Halloween. And both of us wish the same thing, said Johnny Bushytail, as he and his brother Billy went skipping about the room in their house. Oh, don't wish so hard, or it might come before I'm ready for it, said Uncle Wiggily Longears, the old gentleman rabbit. I've got to decorate my car and get my mask, you know. What kind are you going to have? asked Susie. Oh, I think I'll dress up. As an elephant, said Uncle Wiggily. Take two. Hi, it's Stefania over at Sleep Stories and Classic Fairy Tales for Kids, which you probably already know. And we've got another story, Halloween story, Uncle Wiggily Halloween story. This one's called Uncle Wiggily's Halloween fun. Uncle Wiggily gets to wear a costume. What do you think? What kind of costume do you think he's going to wear? Hmm? A rabbit? No! Hold on and you'll find out. Uncle Wiggily's Halloween fun. Oh dear, I wish it were night, said Susie Littletail. So do I, exclaimed Sammy, her brother. Then it will be Halloween. And both of us wish the same thing, said Johnny Bushytail, as he and his brother Billy went skipping about the room of their home. Oh, don't wish so hard, or night might come before I'm ready for it, said Uncle Wiggily Longears, the old gentleman rabbit. I've got to decorate my car and get my mask, you know. What kind are you going to have? asked Susie. Oh, I think I'll dress up as an elephant, said Uncle Wiggily. But what will you do for a trunk? asked Mrs. Bushytail. For you see, Uncle Wiggily and Sammy and Susie had stayed at the squirrel's house to have some fun. What will you do for an elephant trunk? asked Mrs. Bushytail. I will take a long stocking and stuff it full of cotton so it will look just like an elephant's face, said Uncle Wiggily. Then I'll go out with the children in my car and we'll have fun. So, all that day, they got ready for Halloween fun. The fun they were to have that night. Johnny and Billy had their masks. Johnny had a wolf's face and Billy a bear's. And they were too cute for anything. But of course, Sammy and Susie Littletail and Uncle Wiggily had to have some masks, too, and it took quite a while for the rabbit children to decide what they wanted. I think I'll dress up like a witch, said Sammy at last, and I'm going to be a cat, said Susie. And if any dogs chase you, I'll growl at them and scare them away, said Billy, who was going to be a make-believe bear. Yes. And I'll tickle them with my stocking-stuffed elephant's trunk, said Uncle Wiggily. No, I must go out and put some gas in my car and see that the frizzle frazzle works all right and we can go Halloween riding tonight. Finally, the animal children were ready and they were waiting for it to get dark so they could go out. Pretty soon, after supper, when the sun had gone to bed, it did get dark. Then the four animal children and Uncle Wiggily went out in the car. So, 
I wish you could have seen them, really, I do. I show you a picture, but I'm not allowed. And besides, it was too dark to see pictures well, so hmm, perhaps it doesn't matter. Oh, but they were funny-looking sights, though. Billy Bushytail acted like a real bear, growling as hard as he ever could. Though, of course, he was polite about it. It was only fun. And what a savage, make-believe wolf Johnny was. And there was Susie, as cute as a little meow, meow, cat. And as for Sammy, well, say, he looked so much like the scary that when he looked in the glass, he was frightened at himself. <laughs> yeah, he was. Uncle Wiggily was dressed up like an elephant, and he sat in the front of the car to steer it. Only his stocking stuffed trunk got in the way of the steering wheel, so Uncle Wiggily had to put it behind him over his left shoulder and have Susie hold it. I mean, she held the stocking stuffed trunk, not the steering wheel, you know. Here we go, suddenly cried Uncle Wiggily, and his voice sounded far away because it had to go down inside the stuffed stocking elephant trunk and come out again around the back of him. Like this. Here we go. Then he twisted the tinker and tinkerum and away they went in the car. All at once, from around the corner came a big clown with a red, white, and blue all over his face. He had a rattly bang banger thing, and he was making a terrible racket with it. Oh, I know who that is, cried Susie. You're Jimmy Wibble Wobble, the boy duck. That's right, said the clown, making more noise than ever. Whoop de doo doo. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Along with the car. And by this time, there were a whole lot of animal children prancing and dancing around it. Uncle Wiggily had to make the car go real slowly so as not to hurt any of them, for they were all over the streets. There was Buddy Pig, dressed up like a camel. And there was Dicky Chop Chop and his sister, and they were dressed like sailors. Bright Eyes Pig had on a cow's mask, and Billy Goat was dressed up like a wizard, while Nanny, his sister, was supposed to be a lady with a sealskin coat on. <laughs> I couldn't tell you how the different animal children were dressed, but I'll just say that. Billy, Bully the Frog, with his tall hat, was dressed like a football player, and Aunt Letty, the nice old goat lady, may believe she was a fireman, and Munchie Trot, the horse, if you remember, Munchie Trot was a pretend policeman. And such fun they had. Uncle Wiggily steered the car here and there, and squeaked and squawked his tooter teeter so no one would get hurt. There were about four eleven ten horns being blown, and the wooden rattly bang bangs were rattling all over, and someone threw a whole lot of pretty colored paper in the air until it looked as if or it was raining red and blue and green and purple and blue and yellow covered snow. Then, all at once, out from the crowd came a figure that looked like a bear. Oh, it was very real looking with long teeth and shaggy fur. And that bear came right up to the car that Uncle Wiggily was steering. I've come to get you, growled the bear away down in his throat. Oh, he's almost real, exclaimed Susie. And she forgot that she was holding Uncle Wiggily's stuffed stocking trunk and let go of it so that it hung down in front of them. I, I am a real bear, growled the shaggy creature. Oh, you can't fool us, said Johnny Bushytail with a laugh. You jackal or jumpy kinky tail dressed up like a bear, just like my brother Billy is. You can't fool us. But I am a real bear, growled the shaggy creature again, and I'm so hungry. So I'm going to bite Uncle Wiggily. Would you believe it? He was a real bear who would come in from the woods. He made a grab for Uncle Wiggily. 
But the old gentleman rabbit leaned far back in his car seat, and the bear only got hold of the stocking stuffed trunk. And then the bear pulled on that so hard that it came all apart and the cotton stuffing came out and <laughs> got up the bear's nose and made him sneeze. <laughs> and then Munchie Trot, the pony boy who was dressed like a policeman, and with his club, Munchie tickled the bear on his ear. And that shaggy creature was glad enough to run back to the woods, taking his little stubby tail with him. So he didn't need anybody. My, it's a good thing I didn't have on a real elephant's trunk, said Uncle Wiggily, or that bear would have bitten it off. For real trunks are fastened on tight. Yes, indeed, said Susie. So, after everybody got over being scared at the real bear, they had a lot of fun, and Uncle Wiggily took all the children to the store and treated them to hot chocolate. Then he and Sammy and Susie and Billy and Johnny went home in the car and went to bed. And Uncle Wiggily had another adventure the next day. Wow. That was some Halloween night, don't you think? Boy, oh boy. And that bear certainly got his, didn't he? Mm, he was naughty. But he didn't get to eat Uncle Wiggily or the kids. So everybody was fine. It was a good night after all. So, what are you doing for Halloween? Are you going to wear a costume? What are you going to wear? Whatever it is, I bet it's going to be really cute or really ooh, scary. So that's it for this Halloween series of stories. And we'll be back with more stories for you very soon. More riddles. Maybe a couple of tongue twisters. Mm -hmm. And some affirmations to keep us strong and positive. And as happy as possible. If we are sad, that's okay too, but it comes round and we feel better again. But if you want to get in on all of this, be sure to subscribe and push that notification button so YouTube can tell you that there is something ready for you. I'll be waiting. See you soon. Bye for now.